King's Fountain. The first to show as they come to the first. Fillion's Law up with him. King's Fountain, Fillion's Law, Buck Willow over on the far side. And Bradbury Star has gone there. Bradbury Star of Fuller at the first. King's Fountain, the leader from Buck Willow at the second. The riderless Bradbury Star going up to uh, join the two leaders as they come to the first of the ditches. And Buck Willow, stable companion of the horse who was flawed at the first, Bradbury Star in the lead now from King's Fountain, then Fillion's Law, Ardburn on the outside, they come to the fourth and Buck Willow lands in the lead from King's Fountain, Ardburn third now, Fillion's Law, then Far Senior and Tipping Tim and Antimatter, as the seven runners swing into the home straight on the first circuit, Buck Willow leads by about three lengths now. From King's Fountain, another two then to Ardbrin, then Ferrian's Law, then comes Far Senior, Tipping Tim, and Antimatter. Racing towards the sixth, and Buck Willow in the Jim Joe colours by about three lengths from King's Fountain, Ardbrin. Behind them, Ferrian's Law and Tipping Tim and Far Senior. And then Antimatter, Buck Willow, with the, his rider, a stable companion, upside him as they race up towards the winning post on this first circuit and pass it now with Buck Willow in the lead from King's Fountain and Art Brin and Tipping Tim. Then comes Far Senior, Ferrian's Law on the inside and on the outer is Antimatter, who's just making a little bit of ground now. And still Buck Willow and Declan Murphy. The clear leaders as they swing right-handed with a mile and a half left to run and start the descent towards Swinley Bottom. In second place is King's Fountain. Tipping Tim is third on the inside of Art Brin. Then comes Far Senior, Antimatter and Fillion's Law over the seventh. Buck Willow lands clear of King's Fountain. Art Brin and Tipping Tim and Far Senior. Then Antimatter and Fillion's Law. Coming down to the eighth, another plain fence, Buck Willow. Lands clear of King's Fountain, Ard Brin, Tipping Tim, Far Senior, Fillion's Law, and a mistake by Antimatter, who's dropped back now quite away behind the remaining six. Coming to the second of the ditches now, Buck Willow from King's Fountain. Buck Willow lands clear of King's Fountain second, Ard Brin third. Far Senior going up four, Tipping Tim, Ferrian's Law making a little bit of ground on the inside, Andy Matter still last, coming down to the water now, number ten, Buck Willow. Oh, he makes a bad mistake there, Buck Willow, he lands on all fours, but he doesn't lose enormous amount of impetus. King's Fountain's got quite a bit closer to him, though. A gap then to Ard Brin, Tipping Tim getting closer. Far Senior's making quite significant progress on their outside. But Buck Willow, still the leader. Buck Willow from King's Fountain. Then comes Tipping Tim and Far Senior very close. Ard Brin has lost a bit of ground. Coming to the 11th, and King's Fountain goes up on the outside. A Buck Willow makes another mistake there, and it looks as though uh, he's out of it as King's Fountain goes on by about three lengths, five from home. King's Fountain lands in the lead from his stable companion, Far Senior. Tipping Tim is third, and four is Art Brin. Coming to the final ditch, four from home. King's Fountain lands clear of Far Senior second. Tipping Tim third. Four is Art Brin. Five anti-matter, but a long way back. King's Fountain, three from home, about ten lengths clear. King, oh, he hits that, he gets away with it. He hit it hard. Far Senior also hit it hard, but he's still second. Tipping Tim is third, Ardbrin is four. These four, a long way clear of the remainder. And King's Fountain, trained by Kim Bailey, who won this in 89 with Man of Magic, looking as though... He's really only got to jump the last two now. His nearest pursuer is his stable companion, Far Senior. King's Fountain jumps that neatly. He's got one between himself and victory. Far Senior is second. It's a Kim Bailey one-two at the moment. Third is Tipping Tim. Four is Antimatter as Ardbrin has been pulled up. Coming to the final fence now in the h &T Walker Gold Cup. And it's King's Fountain, a long way clear. He's just got to jump it, and he jumps it, gets away from it. Far Senior, his stable companion, jumps it second. Third is Tipping Tim, racing up towards the line. And King's Fountain has won the sixth of his 16 races. He's won the h &T Walker Gold Cup in great style. Far Senior, his junior stable companion, is second. Third is Antimatter.
fourth will be third is uh, tipping Tim I should say uh, fourth is antimatter fifth will be Firion's law and sixth the ultimately rather disappointing Buck Willow with Ardbrin pulled up and Bradbury Star of course the faller at the first Kings Fountain the 7-2 winner Kings Fountain owned by Mr. E.J. Banks trained by Kim Bailey and ridden by Anthony Torrey second was number eight far senior owned by mrs harry duffy trained by kim bailey and written by mr marcus armitage with third number seven tipping tim owned by mrs jenny mold trained by nigel twiston davis and written by carl llewellyn and fourth number two antimatter but this is the winner king's fountain he's been laid out for this race and what a great triumph this for his trainer responsible for first and second and incidentally for his lad Vicky Learon who won the hundred pounds for the best turned out horse here's how he won it jumping what is, is what it's all about here look on the right of the picture now as we see Bradbury star just jumping hits the top plows through it the saddle hits Eamon Murphy in the backside and it's goodbye Eamon so as with the race gets into it, the real pace down the hill the other Gifford horse is leading here he's a lovely horse Buck Willow in front he jumped the ditch beautifully but he goes to the water and he's all wrong he doesn't know what to do changes legs paddles and absolutely lands in a heap Kings Fountain gets a lot closer to him as a result of that and shortly afterwards he drops out so Anthony Torrey with a big smile there as he goes into the place reserved for number one so get back into the race itself three from home look at King's Fountain in front but just watch here Anthony asks King Fountain says no thank you the two of them go in opposite directions for a while behind him fast senior does exactly the same thing tipping Tim is back in third Ard Brin in fourth in this uh, he does pull up eventually but had run a good race to there and fifth is anti-matter who'd always been struggling today Firion's law out of the picture under 12 stone but this huge chaser who's one day probably going to go for the Grand National comes off the last bend he's now just starting to flag a little bit but he really forced it from Swindley bottom and so he's entitled to it. it's only his second run of the season Anthony Torrey just sits quiet and he pops over that beautifully far senior who's uh, a horse that has gone up a huge step today is going to pick up ten and a half thousand pounds finishing second here but Kim Bailey you know knows what is needed to win this race he won it in 89 with Man and Magic uh, when Mark Perrett was on board but Anthony Torrey who rides a lot of the Bailey horses has the uh, job here of going to the last and deciding what to do he asks because he meets it spot on this huge chaser answers his call. Far Senior though just pops over in second place he's not going to get troubled for that spot as we home in on Anthony Torrey and this very large chase at Kings Fountain by Royal Fountain and a caking takes the second HT Walker for Kim Bailey. Well Anthony